All right, guys, so uh, I'm going to be doing the direct comparison now between the torque converter um, as well as the centrifugal clutch. Um, let me go drive around for a little bit and uh, just to make sure the engine's warmed up like it was before. And then we will do the top speed run as well as the acceleration test. like um, the telemetry is working properly and uh, I'm gonna start a new one and get it all set up all right so here's the uh, top speed run So it seems like the top speed isn't as high as it was before, but uh, I'll double check later. All right, so now for the most important test, uh, dead stop, zero to top speed. Let's see how long this one takes. In three, two, one. All right, so I'm just gonna do some comparison in terms of uh, on the computer, and we'll see how they compare to one another. Um, the top speed, it doesn't feel as fast, so I'm actually thinking that the top speed decreased. However, like I said in a previous video, the drivability is a lot better, and um, at low speeds, it definitely runs a lot smoother because it's able to make use of the, um, essentially a CVT. All right, so uh, I'll do a little bit of analysis on the computer now. 
So, by my comparison, it seems like the torque converter really improves the way that the power is delivered. You get a much easier to drive go-kart that never bogs. However, you don't get a higher top speed. You actually lower your top speed a little bit in my case. Although, my guess is that I can increase the top speed with a larger driven sprocket. The old clutch that I had was 15 teeth, and this one currently has 12, so that's sort of an unfair comparison. And there's a great post on a forum if you google centrifugal clutch versus torque converter that pretty much sums up what my conclusions are. If you're looking for a go-kart that can handle stop and go very well, then a torque converter is definitely for you. If you're looking for pure top speed and racing, a centrifugal clutch works better because you'll never be at low speeds anyway, and there is no torque converter belt to rob you of any horsepower. Which one do I prefer? Definitely the torque converter, for its ability to make the go-kart feel more powerful, even if the top speed is a bit lower. Ready, set, go! Alright, so uh, you guys know what the next part of this project is. We are going to be converting this uh, go-kart to electric. And uh, as you guessed it, we'll definitely be doing before and afters to see how electricity versus gasoline uh, will function. Other than uh, a lot of the gas engine counterparts, uh, I'm going to have to be thinking about what batteries I want to use, uh, as well as the controller, the motor, as well as a charging system, which is something that you never really have to think about with gas engines. However, I already know what it's going to be like because I have a very long history in electric bikes and those things were just so much more fun than their 50cc gas counterparts. Um, so stay tuned and if you guys are new to this channel, definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one for more go-karting fun. Yeah.